Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix an error has occurred on your PlayStation 4. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. So you're on your PlayStation 4 and then all of a sudden a blue screen pops up and it says an error has occurred. How do we fix this? Well, it's very easy to do. So I'm on the home screen of the PlayStation 4. Let's go to the top bar and then go all the way to the right to settings. Select this. Now go down to storage. Select this. Then let the system storage calculate. Now go ahead and select it. Then go down to save data. Then go ahead and find the game you were having a problem with. So for example, Minecraft. If you're under the save data for that game, there may be some data under here that is corrupted. If you see any corrupted data under here, press the options button on the controller, then go to delete and delete the corrupted data. So then go to delete and press OK. Now, after you deleted the corrupted data, hold down the PlayStation button on the controller, then go to power and then go to turn off PlayStation. Do not go to enter rest mode. You want to completely turn off your PS4. Now when your PlayStation 4 is completely turned off, there will be no light on the top of the light bar here. Go ahead and hold down the power button, which is the top one. Hold that down for 10 seconds. You'll hear one beep initially, then you will hear another beep. When you hear that second beep, go ahead and let go. And this is going to launch your PlayStation 4 into the safe mode where we can go ahead and rebuild the database and get rid of that an error has occurred issue on our PlayStation 4. But we will need a USB to micro USB cable first to operate the menus. So go ahead and find a USB cable and plug it into your PlayStation 4. Then plug the other end into your controller. So now that we have the DualShock 4 connected using a USB cable, let's press the PlayStation button and go down to option number five, which is rebuild database. So if we are having any problems with our hard drive, this should fix it. And it should fix the error has occurred on our PlayStation 4. And it says it may take a few hours to rebuild the database. But in my experience, it only has taken about five to 10 minutes and your PlayStation 4 will restart after that. So let's go over to OK. And my PlayStation 4 is going to restart right away and then it's going to boot into the rebuild database screen. So it's good to rebuild your database every couple months on the PlayStation 4 to fix any kind of errors that you're having with your hard drive or data. And as you can see, it's only going to take me three minutes. So if you are having problems, go ahead, delete the corrupted data under save data, and then rebuild the database on your PlayStation 4. If this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more PlayStation 4 tech help videos coming up next on Your 6 Studios.